The, this trip to Italy had a one purpose of communicating a message with the Pope, Pope Francis of getting, helping us. That us is immigrant families with mixed statuses. I'm basically fighting to stay in my homeland. It's, that's the truth. Like, if I don't fight, I'm basically going to get kicked out of my own country along with my family. Coronado High School sophomore Alessandro Granados and a handful of other teens traveled to Rome to pray with the Pope about their problem. This prayer consisted of gaining residency, a legal citizenship or a legal status for all TPS members. Alessandra and her two sisters are U.S. citizens, but mom Sandra isn't. She's from El Salvador and lives in the U.S. under a special immigration program. The temporary protected status, which is the program my mom has, and this TPS protect allows my mom to work legally, get a job legally, and not get herself deported. Temporary protected status allows foreigners from countries devastated by armed conflict or natural disasters to stay in the U.S. Alessandra's mom survived a violent childhood in El Salvador brought on by a civil war. She fled to the U.S. in 2001 after a devastating earthquake. It, I was to the point that I was like, I'm, I'm done. I want a normal life. Sandra has been a part of the TPS program for 17 years. The Trump administration is working to phase it out, saying it's safe for TPS holders to return home now. Holders from El Salvador have until September 2019. Alessandra worries her mom will be deported and she'll have to go with her. Basically like deporting a U.S. citizen because if you take my mom away, you're basically, I have to go with her. I can't just separate from her because she's my family. Yeah. Alessandra told me the National yeah, TPS cool. Alliance organized her trip to Rome. The El Salvador Embassy helped her meet Pope Francis. So I feel like we gained, we gained um, a larger audience in opening their eyes towards this program.